seconds on a whistle. Ready? Hey guys, another Floyd Bennett field from last Tuesday. Um, this time around I'm going to commentate only on the highlights. I'm going to try to make it as short as possible. But I will upload also the entire race without commentating later if you guys are interested. So enjoy this one. Okay, so we are almost 16 minutes into the race. Um, for the previous laps I was just staying in the front, trying to keep a uh, good position in the front basically and just uh, save energy. At about 16 minutes into the race, I think there was the first uh, frame. I got on this uh, Jordan's guy wheel here. You see him coming from my right. And I somehow found myself in the front. Alright, so I'm following his wheel and just happened to be he was covering a move in the front and that was an excellent wheel to follow just just in case there will be a little breakaway going. I'm not wasting a whole lot of energy. As you can see on the bottom left, I'm not really pu pushing high wattage here. Something I can definitely maintain for a few minutes. So I'm just sitting on his wheel and we actually happen to have a nice gap behind us. Um, at that point here, I wasn't really sure that, you know, this breakaway will succeed or it's worth investing energy, but, you know, I'm still just still, and therefore I'm still just following wheels. Anyway, I'm sorry guys, by the way, I don't have a rear camera view here. Uh, they predicted maybe rain on Tuesday and my rear camera is not waterproof, so I just didn't put it. But we did have a, ni we did get a nice gap here. It will still be a little surgy. Um, I think we had an, a little group here going on in the front. Uh, more attacks are going to come from the left here. But eventually I just kept on following the wheel until I decided, you know what, it's, uh, we have a good gap. Let's see if we can get something going. So uh, for the next almost half a lap I'm working in the front together with two more guys. Alright, so at that point, looking back, I realized we do have a nice gap. I decided to start working and try to make that move stick. And I told myself, let me take things to my own hands and let's see if I can just get the, uh, the gap even bigger. So I went to the front, I started pushing really hard, as you can see, close to four or five hundred watts in an aero position, getting to almost 50 kilometers an hour, which is pretty nice. It was almost a windless day, but at that point it was, I think, the wind, the slight wind that we had was the headwind. So getting into 48 kilometers an hour, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> Not that I'm patting myself on the back, but it's, it's pretty fast for a road bike. Um, so I took two guys with me at that move, and we had a little gap going, and we kept working. But as you can see, unfortunately, this move didn't succeed more than anything, I think the other guys didn't have the energy to maintain such a speed, so it was mostly me in the front. So it was mostly me in the front right now, but we did have such a good gap that I didn't want to let it go, so I kept on pushing. At that point here, I'm telling the next guy to uh, uh, to help, and unfortunately, you'll see right away it was very, very short pull, indicating he's very tired. Uh, his teammate on the right was a little fresher, but also very, very short pull. So it was only up to me to maintain that move, and I decided to keep on going. Again, looking backwards, you don't see it here, but we did have a good gap here. So I was hoping maybe the field behind will let us go and maybe we'll be able to get a breakaway going but we lost uh, we lost one of the guys and the second guy that was that I was on his wheel just a second ago actually 
had a tricky move and apparently the only reason maybe I don't know but that's the way I saw it eventually the only reason he was in the front is to get the points for the prim so next time you're crossing the line it's a prim and when it was his turn to pull he was just almost sprinting from my wheel you're gonna see it now from the right just to get the points going up from the left I'm sorry so he wasn't there for making a breakaway stick I guess all he cared about was the point with which was really demoralizing I just put half a lap effort all by myself at close to four or five hundred watts and once he did that I realized okay there's nothing going on really so I didn't know what to do I kept on going around threshold and eventually got caught by the whole peloton so it was a big effort on my part that just went to waste but that's spike racing I guess but here I'm picking up again if you can see <laughs> I'm trying to sprint here and this is the most I had because I just pushed 500 watts for half a lap but I, we got caught and unfortunately a um, few of the stronger guys um, especially here was uh, just sprinting to the front and trying to get a breakaway going and obviously I didn't want to miss that train I wanted to be on the right side at least I was in the front so um, I could react I reacted right away but then again you can see me coasting here I was basically cooked dying we did have a little gap going here still but they shut it down right away for whatever reason so I'm at this point just trying to recover from the move I made and decided to stay in the pack until you know until the next one all right 26 minutes into the race I'm on Andrew's wheel here in front of me, the NYCC guy, and he feels on the, on the right, the race leader. And I found myself again in the front. Um, here's Paolo, so all three heads of states, if you want to say, are in the front. And I'm following Andre's wheel here. You always want to follow, if you see a strong guy like covering a move, you always want to follow his wheel. You're not even thinking, you're just reacting right away. Um, this way you can maybe even get into a move without burning a big match which is always a plus in my book so that's what I'm doing here covering Andre's wheel um, unfortunately it didn't succeed but again when I see someone's going and uh, putting an effort like like this here I'm just gonna follow his wheel so a little later and a counter attack from the right and I'm reacting to the move again trying to follow Andre's wheel I had to push here seven eight hundred watts but I figured it worth it because again if I find myself on the right um, on the right side of things if there's a little gap going behind it might be worth it to start working and at least I'll be a little fresher but as you can see didn't stick Unfortunately, and everything getting shut down again. All right, so uh, one counter attack goes, didn't work, and guess what? You better believe it. One more will happen now from the right. They're coming thick and fast. Another counter attack, and I'm just following Andrew's wheel again. That's the scheme of the race until now. If I can get myself into a move going, and just by following wheels, I'll do that. Um, Andre is always trying to get himself uh, into a breakaway. That's a good wheel to follow. Strong kid. But it didn't work. Uh, the entire group is behind us. Anyway, I found myself here second wheel. We actually have one guy in the front there. And decided, because Andrew is slowing down, decided to go around him. And if, instead of sprinting, just to put a little surge, four or five hundred watts here to create a little breakaway, a little gap going to see if they're gonna let me sneak off the front so to speak and I did have a little gap going I was hoping when I'm catching the guy here in front of me we'll start working, we will start working together but for whatever reason he just decided to shut it down so we did have a little gap here, I did have a, a little gap but right away when I saw the entire field behind me um, it was a mis I realized it was a mistake because this is a critical point of the race. Um, at that point, as you can see, 
Another counterattack is coming. But this time around, I'm looking back and I see the yellow jersey. And I know Yechiel is a strong guy, so he's taking the strongest guys in the race with him here. Paolo, um, Andre's on the front there. And I'm trying to shut this little gap here in front of me and it's really hurting. Um, just because, again, I was following moves up until this point and and was trying things by myself so I'm pretty burned at that point but um, again this was the move that was supposed to succeed in my opinion this was a really really hard pull by Yechiel he's in the front right now so passing everybody and I am dying at that point you can see the gap is keep on opening and it's not because I want to it's because I can't push harder than that so Looking at it in hindsight and knowing this in the race, I knew this was the, the winning move. This is the move that will succeed. Um, so I had to close the gap. I was trying my the hardest. Man, ev I, I put everything I had. I was dying. Here. All right, so I did manage to get to the front. And all I ha all I could do at that point is just following wheels. I couldn't participate in anything. I couldn't really help out on the pace because of the big efforts I had before. Remind you, almost an entire half a lap all by myself and following moves. And when Yechiel went to the front and kept on pushing, I mean, God bless him, he's a strong kid. This here really, really hurt. And... <laughs> And once again, I felt like I had to give it all just to be in the right place. Just try to follow the right wheels. And you can see this little gap opening. I'm probably pushing as much as you feel at that point. I'm hardly, I'm not getting really a big draft in here. And again, not because I don't want to close the gap. It's just because that I can't. Um, okay, I'm managing to close the gap here. And we had a very long, strung out line behind and this was the move and if the guys in the front like Paolo decided to work together with the deal probably a move would have made it and this was the winning move but um, Paolo played it smart he's actually the winner of the race he will don't understand why he don't want to work and guess what the attempt just shut down once again everybody comes together another few counter attacks small little counter attacks but at that point when the entire field was behind us I decided again from now on I'm just trying to recover because I really burned a lot of matches here and dying at that point and let me just try to recover in the field you can see Andre in the front in the front here just uh, counter attack again and I just I hardly had anything I'm going backwards at that point so just recovering in the uh, field for you know maybe a late move that was my goal from that point on all right 49 minutes in and we are two corners to go last lap and everybody going nuts um, in the last few laps i was just hiding in the pack saving energy trying to recover and maybe i was planning my late famous late attack here <laughs> but it was really quick really fast people taking a lot of risks here. I don't like the sprint finish for that reason. I mean, that's the time the crashes usually happen. Anyway, so what I decided to do is let anybody go again. I was hoping for a little opening on the right here. It was slight left to right wind. And as soon as I saw a little opening on the right, right here, I decided to go from the right and put my little attack going I came all the way to the front Andre is now opening Ooh, that was really sketchy here almost closed the door on me but here I put everything I had left in me and pushed as hard as I can <laughs> for glory my usual move so still pushing 500 watts at that point but um, unfortunately, I had to turn the last turn to the line. I saw there's guys behind me. And I decided to keep on going until that point approximately, because I knew that even if 
if I keep on going four or five hundred watts, I can place maybe top ten. But when I saw everybody going so much faster, faster than me, I just shut it down. I was, I was obviously I was burned. And um, if it's it's for me, it's either win or nothing. <laughs> so third, fourth, sixth, tenth doesn't matter. So I shut it down right before the finish line. And didn't place well, but again, at least I'm trying. That's that's the thing I'm always telling myself. At least I'm keep on trying, and I'm gonna keep on trying until the win will come this uh, season, hopefully. All right, guys. Until next time. See you around.